it's Maya here with another week of Upstreet Online. And all this month we've been talking about service. And if you're ever in Georgia, we'd love for you to come hang out with us in person at Upstreet. Oh, what's this? Just my greatest achievement of all time. And, well, I'll tell you about it right after this. I did it! I won the spelling bee at school. And I know I shouldn't brag, but guys, check out the size of this thing. I literally can't with how shiny it is. And you guys might be thinking, Maya, chill, it's just a trophy. But here's the deal. I've been studying for weeks for the spelling bee, and I can't tell you how many times I've practiced spelling the word vivacious. And I know more about the point of origin words better than basically everyone in the school. I mean, winning the spelling bee and getting this trophy is like such a big deal. Did you know that they take my picture for the yearbook? I'm basically going down in history books for this. But I guess all this fame comes at a cost. Lex and Riley have been saying that I've been bragging too much and been a little inconsiderate. Check out that spelling bee word of their feelings. Ugh, why can't they just be happy for me? Wow, that is a tough one. Winning a trophy is a big deal. And you do want your friends to think you're great. I mean, some people say that greatness comes from how many trophies you have or how many championships you've won. Like, like Tom Brady. He is called the GOAT, the greatest of all time because of how many championships he's won. So if you win a lot, you might think, that will make me great, right? And other people might say, you're great if you're famous. I mean, look at the guys from Dude Perfect. They are great and they have like tons of fans that wanna do all the cool tricks that they do. If you have a YouTube channel and you get lots of subscribers and people are watching your videos, you might think that will make me great, right? Or maybe greatness comes when you have lots of money and you can buy anything you want. You might think that will make me great, right? Well, regardless of how rich you are or how many trophies you've won or how famous you are, Jesus has something to say about how you become great. So let me explain. See, Jesus was around some people who were having a debate about what makes you great. And they asked Jesus to tell them how they could become great. Well, Jesus drops a major truth bomb that none of them were expecting. We can read about this in the book of Mark. So let's check it out and see what Jesus had to say. Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. So hold on. Wait a second, Jesus. Greatness comes from what? Are you telling me that serving is what makes you great? See, Jesus says that greatness is really measured by how we serve, by how we treat others and how we love and help those around us. Serving others makes you great. That's kind of mind blowing, right? Well, here, let me, let me explain by giving you some examples. This is Ava. Ava let her hair grow and grow and grow until it was long enough to cut off. She let it grow so that she could donate the part that she cut off to a place called Locks of Love. They take healthy donated hair and use it to make wigs for adults and kids who have cancer and have actually lost their hair. Ava served kids she'll never meet just by growing out her hair and cutting it to give it away. That is super cool and it's a great way to serve other people. Now, you might not want to grow out your hair, but there are lots of other ways that you can serve too. Check this out. Levi is a middle schooler and his small group decided to raise some money to help make sure a family had an awesome Christmas. Levi's small group leader challenged each kid in the group to earn $10 each. So Levi went to his neighborhood offering to walk their dogs for $3. Well, when the word got out, Levi ended up raising more than $300. Through Levi's creative idea and some very generous neighbors, they were able to show up in a big way for a family at Christmas. Or what about this? Lots of you packed a box like this with snacks for kids at your school. And together you collected over 2,000 snack boxes for our schools. We were able to help kids who show up every day that don't have a snack. Because of how you served, they don't have to worry about being hungry in the middle of the day. Now that is great. So all month long, We've been talking about service and what it means to serve people around us. And the people we've heard about today, Ava and Levi, 
have chosen to serve because they know that God says serving others makes you great. They aren't serving to get something, uh, to become famous, or to make a lot of money, or even to get a trophy. And you can do the same exact thing. Winning trophies or becoming famous or making a lot of money isn't a bad thing. But when these things become more important than your friends and family, that's not good. So let me ask you, how many of you have thought more about how you can serve your family and friends than winning the next soccer game? Have you been helping out with dinner or clearing the table? Or have you gotten back to your video game as soon as you can so you can level up? Or have you taken out the trash without being asked or cleaned out the car? Yeah, taking out the trash and cleaning out the car, those things make you great. See, what really matters, what really makes you great is how you serve and love others around you. Serving others makes you great. So let's pray and ask God to help us remember to serve others. God, we all wanna be great. So thank you for giving us the examples like Ava and Levi who served others because they love you. So help us remember to serve those around us this week. We love you, God. Amen. In humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Philippians 2, 3 through 4. Wow, that really hit deep, you know? I had no idea I was letting one trophy be such a big deal. I let winning the spelling bee hurt my friendships. No trophy or picture in the yearbook is more important than Lex and Riley. They matter way more than the spelling bee, and I get it now. Serving my friends or family, that's what makes me great. So now that the spelling bee is over, I've got some free time on my hands. Maybe I can call Lex and Riley and see if I can help them study for our next spelling test this week. Don't make the same mistake I did. Let's put our friends and family first. See